Okay. I just recently uh, got me a, a new Samsung Galaxy Tab S, and uh, I went through and customized this thing the way I like it. And it just turns out being so neat that I figured I'd do a little demonstration video that shows both what the Samsung Galaxy Tab S can do and uh, what the programs that I'm using on it can do. Um, I'm recording this with a program called, oh by the way, um, I did root this Samsung Galaxy Tab S, but it's got the standard ROM, so I didn't reburn, I didn't burn any new ROMs on it or anything. I just simply rooted it, and I'm using uh, uh, Next Launcher 3D uh, is my launcher program, and then I'm using Exposed and I downloaded Gravity Box so I can customize some things uh, such as up here uh, the time set the, the status bar colors and what's displayed and all that you'll see uh, over in this area where you see the dot showing up on the screen um, that's uh, data connection anytime it gets above two kilobits per second uh, uh, data transfer it'll show it'll show what what the data speed is how much data I'm using uh, and uh, so anyhow I can't show you everything because I've got so much on here but it was just so cool that I, I use this a lot I find I myself lose using this a lot oh this is an 8.4 inch Galaxy Tab S uh, not the 10 inch this is just the perfect size it's not too big to carry around but it's uh, but it's big enough screen that I can see what I need to see I use this for work uh, uh, looking at schematics and that kind of stuff. So here's just a little rundown. This is a 3D launcher portion. Uh, that's my Gmail widget. I've got a calendar widget on another page. My main home page with my applications. I can scroll up here. It's you know kind of go go to any if you if you add more panels and put a lot of stuff on here, you can just you can just quickly go to the panels uh, that way. You can ro rotate through options down on the bottom bar. Uh, go back to my home screen um, with uh, with the next launcher you can uh, you can customize motions like for instance I'm going to swipe down on the screen it brings up my settings swipe up on the screen with one finger it brings up my menu for the next launcher uh, swipe down with two fingers on the screen it brings up my uh, contacts swipe up with two fingers it brings up my Gmail. So, in any event, with that launcher, with the next launcher 3D, you can customize strokes and all that. You can customize effects on it and all that too. Uh, the exposed module uh, that that I uh, that I have installed in the Gravity 3D, you can pretty much customize everything as far as transparency of your. Uh, uh, status bar, your notification panel. See, my notification panel is uh, transparent except for uh, the things that I've got running or whatever. You see the SCR uh, Screen Pro recorder. That's what I'm recording this with. Works really. That recorder works really good, by the way. Uh, you'll see in this video. Everything that you see on this video is being recorded by the screen recorder. Uh, the expose module also does stuff like I'm going to push the power button. It adds a screenshot to the to the power button menu, so I can push screenshot, and it takes it takes a picture of whatever screen you're on. The little pop up that shows you saving saving the message and stuff that doesn't show up in the save picture. So that's just a quick easy way to capture any screen you're at. I know you can do the hand swipe thing, but that's just awkward for me to do. Sometimes it's easier just to put, uh, long press the the power button and and click on the screen capture to do that. Uh, so let me see what else um, is cool programs on here oh really cool program well uh, you see I've got a uh, well, file manager that I'm using is called file manager HD what's cool about this is it it easily writes to my SD card um, it can connect directly to my laptop computer here's here's FTP connection directly to my laptop this is the files on my laptop so anything I want to transfer directly from my laptop to here or, or from here to my laptop I go through the FPT connection it'll also connect to any network connection uh, that the that the, uh, the the tablet is connected to I've got a home network here 
that has a WD Live TV uh, uh, hooked up to it. And I, I, I've got, t for instance, I've got TV shows here that I download on WD TV. So this is the hard disk on WD TV that's on the network. This is not a listing of files on my on my Galaxy Tab S. So I can I can connect uh, to any of my uh, any hard disk that's hooked up to my network as well. So uh, I could even play the movies directly from the D WD TV hard disk. Uh, just press the button there. Now this is coming over a network, so it takes a little while for it to start. But here in a second it will start. There you go. So that's playing directly off my network drive. And uh, everything's easily accessible through this through this file manager HD. Uh, I also use this for work. This is my work directory. This is uh, this. These are all files stored on my uh, S, uh, external SD card on the Galaxy Tab S. So, for instance, I uh, go to my high energy machines. I want to look at, let's say, I want to look at a data book. I want to troubleshoot the machine and uh, look at the data book. I'll go to XI and Trilogy data book. And there's my schematics. So I can zoom in on my schematics, pan around. I can actually troubleshoot all, all the different machines that I work on for a living. I've got all my, my various technical files uh, all accessible on the SD card. So I've got, a, I've got a 64 gigabyte SD card on here, so it's going to be plenty for everything. Uh, now, one note, before you could get any file manager to write to the SD card, there's a program that you have to do a little patch because KitKat doesn't allow you to do that natively. Uh, let me see if I'll find that. Uh, it's called SD Fix, right below that dot there, or right to the left and below that dot. It's called SD KitKat SD Fix. You just run that little program, and it changes uh, changes some system attributes that allows the file managers to to read and write to the SD SD card just like it does to the internal storage. Uh, so we got that. What else we got? Neat little. Uh, uh, transparent weather clock there uh, you can customize all that too like if I push on the on the hour it'll pull up my alarm my clock so I can set alarms if if I push on the if I click on the date on that transparent clock it'll bring up my calendar so I can I can uh, look at the calendar or schedule appointments or whatever uh, let me see what else uh, like I said, this could turn into a forever video if I show everything, uh, but it's just it works so darn. Oh, a little music player here. This is a this is a widget uh, that that uh, is made just for the next launcher. So I can tab, I can start and stop the music from there. If I want to switch songs, I just flip that icon, pause it, hit that, click on play again. Flip it to go to the next song. It's all pretty cool. I really love this. So, you know, basically it's a combination of the Galaxy Tab S, uh, the the next Launcher 3D, and the Exposed module using uh, using Gravity Box. Uh, I'll just show you Gravity Box real quick. There's pull up the apps, and uh, Gravity Box is right here. And each one of these has sub menus too. So, uh, for instance, if I want to if I want to change stuff about the status bar, I go there. You can see there's just all kinds of settings: uh, uh, status colors, drawer style, notification heads up, battery, traffic monitor, all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's just tons of tweaks in this Gravity Box module. And now you have to uh, install the exposed. Uh, program first and then the gravity box is a module that you add to it uh, so anyhow that's a quick rundown it's just a really neat setup I like it a lot so I just thought I'd uh, I'd give a quick glimpse of what 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 all this can do together so anyhow 
Hope this is useful information for some people. If you got questions about anything uh, specifically, uh, ask, ask me below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks a lot.